Okay, everyone, are you hanging in there? All right, so this is the classroom we created in the last video, so it's from our template. And now we're going to just plug in some content. So I just want to show you how easy that can be. So first thing I'm going to do is turn the editing on. Now, one of the things I'd like to do is to put some photos in. Now, I've got to say that the photos I collected, we had a different theme. And it was um, much more brighter colours and it was white and not as much colour. So I'm not really sure if any of these photos, what they're going to look like. But I'll just show you one of the um, photographers, Joseph Stufer, I think is how you pronounce it, does some beautiful photography with beautiful uh, and then does some crazy effects and all sorts of things. So I just love these photos. They're just awesome. So I'm going to pop some of those in. So they're already loaded up. So what I can do here is go in and press a little button to edit. I'm going to delete all that text that's there because I don't need it. And I'm just going to press on the insert image. And this is our files that are already there. I'm going to click on images. I'm going to click in blocks. I'm going to go to Joseph's photos. And I'm going to put three of my favourites in there, which could well look like pus, but we'll give it a go. Now, you just click on it and just type in a name and click OK. And that's it. Save changes. So I'm just going to do another couple so we can just see what they look like. And you can see this takes a couple of seconds. And so what I would suggest to lecturers is um, have these images open in uh, my computer or whatever program you use so that you can see what they look like. Pick out the ones that they like for a particular course and then just put them back, just put them straight in. It's as simple as this. So you can see how quick that is. And I'm just going to chuck another one in here. And you can see that this is just taking just it so fast. If you knew what some of these images already were, um, you could put them in really quickly. And there you go. That's three images put in. Okay. So one of the other things I wanted to show you was these blocks we have for blogs and things like that and how easy they are to be able to change. So I'm just going to click on again this add edit feeds. Now there are a number of different blogs that we've already used previously so if they're already there it's just a matter of selecting the one that you want and I've already set these up so that it says that this is a blog and so I'm just going to type in the name of the blog, just so that students can see um, that it is a blog. And you have the option of showing a link to the actual site as well if you want. So I'm just going to do that and save changes. So there's that blog coming in. I can quickly put in another one um, because I already know these and they've already been set up. So again, you can spend time or someone who's developing these can spend time putting these resources together and then when another lecturer comes in it's really really quick for them to be able to put in content. So that's just a couple of things and I'm just going to change that to a student view so you can see what a student would see and you can see here you know everything's pretty much there already. Um, the images make a bit of a difference, they just lighten it up a bit and we've got some feeds coming through there. The only other thing I do is put in who the photos were from and I actually had a little text file in those folders that I included in there that showed what the um, Flickr address was.